Yo, what is going on guys? This is OG Oblivion coming at you with a brand new YouTube video today. Today we're actually going on a brand new Pokemon journey and another Nuzlocke. Uh, this is going to be the Diamond version of Nuzlocke, so let's just go ahead and start getting into it. The reason I'm switching it over to the Diamond series is I actually unfortunately deleted the file that the Heart, uh, the, uh, Heart Gold series was on. So I, gotta, I actually got to use my mouse real quick and click on this Pokeball so he can move forward. Uh, let me move that back off. So yeah, I accidentally deleted the... Uh, the heart gold nuzlocke so we can't actually continue it there's no way for me to get that file back now so it's a little too late sorry um so i figured if we were gonna have to start a brand new one anyway instead of going through uh heart gold again we were gonna go ahead and go through um a new new uh region and pick the Sinnoh region pick diamond version specifically so we're gonna go ahead and jump into that uh every the, the rules are the exact same from the first nuzlocke i can only catch the first pokemon per area uh, anytime a Pokemon faints, it must go into the uh, graveyard, and if I completely black out, it's over. So, nothing has changed that. We're just going to start a brand new jersey in journey in the Sinnoh League. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and start with this. Um, this is my boy here. Let's name him Zach. And let's get into our journey. So I think the furthest we're going to go in this episode, because I did this like little intro screen with you guys and whatnot, is we'll probably go as far as picking our starter and then leaving the next episode to like go through like the catching tutorial and getting our first encounter. Um, we'll see how long it takes, though. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll do that all in the first one. I don't know. We'll see. Despite the exploration team's best efforts, however, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded detection. The rumored Red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report. Search for the Red Gyarados. Alright, let's go say hello to mommy. Let's go say hello to our mother. Hey mom, how are you? Why don't I have a dad? Zach came looking for me. He said it was an emergency. All right, let's go find Zach. Let's hit up his crib. I'm sure he's there. Oh, come on. Don't go into tall grass. I get it, Mom. I'm not a little kid anymore. All right, I think he's just chilling up in his house now, yeah? Thud. What was that about? Oh, hey, Richard. Hey, I'm going to, like, you come to and be quick about it. Okay, Richard, I'm finding you $1 million if you're late. Oh, jeez, forgot something. Let me come help you find what you lost, bud. I'd better take my bag and journal, too. Oh, hey, Richard. We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. It's a $10 million fine if you're late. Thanks, bud. Appreciate you uh, finding me for all this. <sighs> I'm so tired, dude. It's like 11.30 at night while I'm recording this first one. Hey, you saw that news report that was on TV, right? You know, Search for the Red Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon Lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has a Pokemon like that in it, too. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go find a Pokemon like that. All right, I'll lead the way, buddy. Verity Lake Front. Gotta crack my neck. All right, to the lake. Let's find us a red Gyarados. That'd actually be sick if I get a red Gyarados at some point in this game. What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. Hmm. There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regards to our studies. Excuse me. Let us pass, please. Okay. I beg your pardon. We'll be on our way. What was that about those two? Huh? Richard, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into the tall grass? No problem, no problem. We won't be in there long enough for a wild Pokemon to come out. That's where you're wrong, Zach! It's a briefcase. Those people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to deliver it, but who are they? I heard them say Professor. 
P Pokemon, what's going on? All right, let's figure out our starters here, ladies and gents. Look, there are Pokeballs. Let's battle using these. Uh, which one do you want, then? A Ninetales? A Moltres? And a Grottle. That actually sucks, man. <coughs> that really sucks, because there's a Grottle here, and I love Torterra. But we could also start off with a Legendary Bird Pokemon Moltres. What do I do? That's not good. We could have a Moltres or a, or a Grottle and get a Torterra. And I love Torterra. These are one of my favorite starters from this actual region. Oh my god. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I feel like Moltres would be kind of too easy, though, to start with. So we're going to go ahead and go with the, the Grottle. That's who I'm going with, and you can't change my mind. Well, Starly charged in, huh? Go, Grottle. Uh, Facade, I guess. Alright, Starly is down, ladies and gentlemen. We have won the first battle. Much respect, Grottle. Wow, your Pokemon totally rocked. But mine was way tougher than yours. They were other people's Pokemon, though, but we had to use them. They won't mind, will they? Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have been furious if I'd lost it. Yeah, there's a fucking Moltres in it. We'll see if I made the wrong decision or not. Richard, let's get out of here. All right, let's go. I got my grottle, so I'm good. You go ahead. I know we have to return these Pokemon that are not ours, but I want to spend a little more time with this little guy. Let's take a look at grottle. Grass type. All right. Prevents the Pokemon from becoming infatuated. Eh, that's not that. That's kind of shitty, to be honest. Hopefully, the ability changes once he evolves into Torterra. I'm really hoping it does it get something different because that's just not that great. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Hmm. I heard from Don that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Grottle and Turtwig. Hmm. I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um, yes, Professor. Please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. What was that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want their Pokemon back? Richard, let's go home. All right. I think I am going to go ahead and get up to the first encounter that we can get. Maybe make this episode a little bit longer than the, the rest of them are going to be. Uh, or maybe I'll actually leave them all around like 20 to 30 minutes. That way we can get some stuff done during these episodes. And uh, not really drag the series out too long, you know. So uh, we'll do that. <clears throat> Getting our running shoes on. I gotta turn the chat speed up. This is not gonna do it for me. Oh, wait. No, I don't wanna save just yet. Options will go fast. Uh, let's change this around too. We'll go with that one. I like that. <coughs> so we got fast chat on. Zach's already went to the Pokemon lab, so we'll head on up, and then we can actually take a quick look and see what kind of Pokemon may be in this area, you know? Oh, we didn't even get anything yet. That's fine. I'm not too worried about that, because we're going to have to come back anyway. Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it, our Pokemon research lab. Let's go. What the? Oh, it's you, Richard. That old guy is not scary so much. He's out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Richard. I'm out of here. See you later. Bye, buddy. Wow, what was that bad about? Your friend sure seems to be really impatient. Yeah, I know. We love him, though. Professor, finally you've come. Richard, was it? Let me see your Pokemon again. Well, well, you made your Pokemon evolve already. Alrighty, then. I'll give that Grottle to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, what, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes, I would. Um. Fuck, what do I name him? He's going to last the entire series. Duh. 
Yes, I am happy with that nickname. Thank you, bud. I would love to have a turtwig. Let's speed this up, Professor. I got I got a Sinnoh League to de demolish. Give me the Pokedex, bud. All right, we got a bunch of stuff already. Kinda, not really. Uh, yeah, I'll go meet everyone in this region for you. Ooh. Now go, Richard, your ground adventure begins right now. You used a chimchar the first time. Wow. I should have taken the Moltres. All right, Dawn's gonna show us around the city, and then we can go back and talk to our mom, and then we can get some Pokeballs from her, and then we'll catch a Pokemon or two. Ooh. All right, I'll go tell my mama. Mommy, I got some splaining to do. I'm ditching your ass. I'm going on a Pokemon journey. Ain't nothing you can do to stop me. Take a quick rest, dear. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom. Obtained the journal. I don't think I ever truly used the journal, like, while I was doing, uh, like, diamond version for the first time. I don't think I ever really used it. Alright, and then Zach's mom's just gonna bust it in, like, this is her house. Hurry, hand me the stuff. I'll take it to him. And then get out of the way. We're speedrunning here. Just kidding, we're not speedrunning. I'm not one of those speedrun kind of people. Never speedrun a game. Okay, why is no Pokemon popping up here yet? It's really weird. That's suspicious, boys. That's suspicious. Let's talk to Dawn, though. Have her show us how to catch a Pokemon. Um, give us some Pokeballs, and then we'll go back and we'll, we'll look around for a minute. Oh, that's right. Richard, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So just watch me, okay? Okay. <coughs> wow, she gets an Espeon. That's neato. Focus Blasted Blaze Kick. It's actually a decent little Chimchar. The Focus Blast ain't that great because it's more of a physical attacker and Focus Blast is like a special attack so it's not that great right now but like once it levels up and stuff it'll be fine. So we'll watch her catch this and then we'll go catch. I think we're going to try and catch two Pokemon this episode and uh, go from there. Gotcha, Espeon was caught. Dudes, I'm so excited for a Pokemon to come to the, te the Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be so dope. I'll give you five Pokeballs. Well, thanks, Don. You're such a sweetheart. Should we catch an encounter here first or go back to the area? I say we go back one area first and then we'll come back up here. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a, an Espeon 2. Alright, what does Route 201 have in store for us? Here we go. Let's see if I can tell what it is. Is that fucking Zubat, bro? Like, for real? That's what I fucking get? Wow, bro. Extreme speed, wow. Fuck Zubat, bro. Like, I got one in my last Nuzlocke, too. 
critical hit, huh? I hope this don't kill it. I don't think it will. Alright, welcome to the team, Zubabat! And that's knuckin' futz, bro. Knuckin' futz! Zubat's data was added to the Pokedex. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense, optical, sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves that emits from its mouth. Given, oh shit, I forgot to nickname him, bros. Oh my god, I'm in such a jackass. I am such a jackass, dudes, I am sorry. Oh my god, there's a croconaut in there and I get Zubat? What does Seed Flare do? I don't remember this move. The Rex is what it does. Okay, so we got a problem here, guys. I'm gonna need to let you let me know down in the comments below what I should do about the um, Zubat with no nickname, and like if I should leave it in the box, if I should keep it in my team and still use it until I can nickname it. Or if it should stay in the box until I can nickname it or what. Because I don't really know the rules on this Nuzlocke thing. I should probably... I'm thinking I should leave it in the box. But I'm going to let you guys decide that for me. So for now, we're going to heal up. And then we're going to go take on one more encounter. And then we're wrapping up episode number one. Oh, I just get so like click happy, bro. That I just fucking forgot. Let's see what we can get in 202. I'll just take one from this grass, that's fine. A Pelipper, bro, for real? For real, bro. We'll use Facade again. No way that kills it. We can get one more. That's nuts, bro, like... <sighs> We're off to a really, really weird start for this Nuzlocke. Not very many uh, good Pokemon yet for me. But we do have a Grotto that's going to become a Sorterra. And wreck everything in this game, so. I'm still confident. I'm still confident that we can finish this Nuzlocke. Bro, it's a Pelipper. Just catch it for me, please. Please! Oh, it knows extreme speed too, huh? Alright. Inside the Pokeball you go, bird. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, let's let's play this one slow. Let's go slow. Let's nickname this bastard. Data was added to the Pokedex. It dips its large bill in the sea, then scoops up numerous prey along with water. Give a nickname to the Cop Pelipper? Yes! Oops. 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 Flappy it is! Alright. Jesus, that was kind of a wild episode, huh? That's actually going to go ahead and do it for the first episode of the Diamond Nuzlocke series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, go ahead and smack a like on it. If you didn't like the video, refresh it. Give it one more chance and you might uh, change your mind. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on. That way you guys can see the rest of this series play out. Thank you guys so much for the support on this video. I'm out. Peace.